plays in there now. Portland with Robinson takes the jumper. Average 40. I didn't even breathe a word of it. <laughs> but he may he, have overheard you. I tell you what, he's headed for a 40-point night. I mean, he is he is on fire and all his creative moves as you see. Adam Keep off to Mookie Blaylock. Tried to get the pass to Dwayne Farrell. That one's stolen by Mario Eli. Down to Cliff Robinson. He'll take the jumper over Snoop Graham. And Robinson is it for six points tonight. It's 36-30, Hawks by six. We've talked about all the winning the Hawks have been doing lately. It's been a common thing here at home. They won eight in a row here at the Omni. Cliche you can think of. Let's get the all cliche team here and put them all on Dominique. And I'm shaking my head. This man is on fire. This man is magnificent. An 11 point lead. Biggest lead of the night for Atlanta. Cliff Robinson off the glass 41 in this first half with just over a minute to go. Well, there's a real bad matchup here. Cliff Robinson can take John Conkak off the dribble, and it's a lot of problems for he had a kind of a rap on him when he came up because they've gotten a big first half out of Cliff Robinson who came off the bench to score 14. Well, when when Willis and Conkak both play together and Robinson is in the lineup along with Mark Bryant, Robinson finds that he gets an opportunity to get the ball in transition. That time he was picked up by Snoop Graham. That's not the guy that's guarding him. Comes up short, offensive rebound. Adam Keith had the ball stripped away. Now Portland on the run, Clyde Drexler. Leaves it for Robinson. Robinson finally gets. Well, Adam Key probably leads the Atlanta Hawks and maybe the Eastern Conference in getting shot blocked. <laughs> His shot blocked because he just doesn't know how to score inside yet, and it leads to a nice, easy basket for by 16. Seven seconds left in the shot clock. Adam Key had the ball stripped away by Mark Bryant. Porter alley oops it to Robinson. He leaves it for Mario Elliott. Rolls around and out. Mario Elliott the rebound. Elliott to Porter, almost stolen by Snoop Graham. Cliff Robinson inside, two more. Well, just a short time ago, about a month ago, I only talking about 13, 14 games back. That was a severe problem on this team. Cliff Robinson. 19 rebounds for Kevin not, Willis. Not bad for a guy that was questionable. 19 rebounds for Willis, and the Hawks are back up by 10. Cliff Robinson has 24. Atlanta by eight. Nine minutes to go. Box by nine. Nice inside pass to Cliff Robinson. Robinson now at 26. His career high. Watch his pick and roll. See, he comes over, fakes like he's going to set the screen, and then slips. That's called slipping the pick and roll. And when you've got that kind of speed and size and leaping ability, you're dangerous. Can't score over it. And the Blazers come away with a rebound down by six. Cliff Robinson and a mismatch there. And Mookie Blaylock contact hustles back. Outside Kersey. Kersey drills this for Mookie Blaylock. 92-88. The lead back up to four. 640 left to go in the game. Porter inside Cliff Robinson. And he's got two more. What Protecting the basket defensively. But Atlanta's got to get their people back and get matched up. Because there's the 40 that he has to score every game the rest of the way to catch Michael Jordan. 98-93. Robinson has just had a shot block now. Hawks very aggressive on defense right now. Only two seconds left to shoot it. But Robinson got 2.15 to go in the overtime. Cliff Robinson inside has tied it up again. He has Drexler outside of Cliff Robinson. Robinson's going to take the two point jumper. 6 3 cannot contest that jump shot. Cliff Bulls. Robinson will come in firing, and he has been filling it up. Had a short lived live, a short lived lead. Bulls by three. Three minutes to go in the first quarter. Cliff Robinson, who's play, been playing great, matched up against Scotty Williams. King playing Duckworth. Scott Williams on Robinson. Five seconds to shoot. Tough drive, and Robinson is bailed out by the foul from Scott Williams, his first. 15 seconds. Robinson has three seconds on the penetration. Tough move. New shot clock. Cliff Robinson follows it. Tied at 21. 10 to shoot. That's a Cliff Robinson. Strickland penetrating. Block shot. Scotty Williams out to Pippen. Armstrong. Blocked by Robinson. Saved by Duckworth. See, BJ's got to drop that ball off. It was two on one. He had Scotty for a dunk. He tried to take it against the shot blocker. Strickland penetrating.
Trey Tanak in a two on one. You're going to see the nice block by by Scott Williams. The ball is outlet to Scotty Pippen who finds BJ. Now BJ is going to get once he gets him in the air. If he drops the ball off, so you see where Scotty Pippen is. He had a layup. Now Cliff Robinson. Strong defending Strickland. Pass inside to Cliff Robinson. Nice job on the pass. And Robinson, a good job receiving the ball. It's offense by second shot opportunities off Scotty and Michael's oh, missed. Look at that pass from Buck Williams and the foul. So a nice play there. You called it Buck Williams with a great bounce pass. Cliff Robinson had his man sealed. That's 15 points now for Cliff Robinson. But look at the bounce pass. He has B.J. Armstrong on his back, and then Scotty tries to get the block and gets the foul. Tied at 37 now. That's the only way that pass could have gotten through by Buck Williams. Just a great entry pass into the post. Cliff, their field goal or their free throw shooting is off 4%. I thought the Bulls had a chance to blow these guys out. Well, thanks to this guy, he's keeping it close. Go to the line, McRae with two quick. Fans can get down on you. Just ask Stacey King. He went through it here. And some numbers. Just ask Mike Ditka. Excited. Michael with 18 in this game. Robinson by seven. Detroit by 10, Atlanta trailing. Early, Denver leading Golden State. Scott Williams with a near miss on what would have been a monster offensive board and jam. Robinson pulls up. You know, Cliff Robinson is playing so well. He's playing all-star basketball right now. Okay, finally got his jumper to fall. He's had a lot of open shots tonight, two for nine. Strickland penetrates, dishes to Robinson. I mean, this guy hadn't played basketball in a week. 36 points. He's supposed to be rusty. The five of ten from the floor. Second half. Two and four with their opponents score over. Para para el hijo de Oliver Miller y está fuera de peligro. Bien, Oliver Miller que es un buen jugador, pero Daniel con 160 kilos, pues claro, es un poco, no sé, claro. Debe de comer. De una Seguro. De una manera. <laughs> Pronto la estrella de Sacramento Chris Weber al banquillo con dos faltas y lo ha sustituido. Dave Robinson, Robinson con el balón. Ha vuelto al equipo desde la lista de lesionados para suplir a Chapman y han fichado y hoy cumple el día de este partido. La playa, ¿eh? <risa> Posesión de balón para Finis con Rogers. Gran temporada. Votó Toby Bailey precisamente. Jason Keith para Robinson, lanzamiento de Robinson y Botes, cuatro asistencias. Yo creo que va a estar en alguno de los quintetos ideales de la liga. Seguro, seguro. Si no en el primero de Bell, se quedó corto. Al final se va a llevar el balón. Finis. Contraataque. Luego Divac. Pase de Chris Weber. Divac en el suelo. Como jugador en los Pacers. El ataque ya para Finis Sanz. Balón para Chris Robinson, lanzamiento de Chris Robinson y Penny Haraway. Haraway para Oliver Miller, abriendo el balón para Cliff Robinson. Robinson se lo va a pasar a Ronnie Rogers. Canas. Para también, no puede ser, ¿no? Otra. Miller, quiere decir que tiene jugadores para defender, ¿no? Williamson, Scott Polar, que se llama Atur Rahim. Que con un poco de suerte le veremos un año de estos en algún partido. Following this game, Phoenix has the Clippers on Tuesday as Rock. Livingston on Williams. The lob inside to Weber. He muscles up and it's partially blocked. Williams to Pollard. It's blocked and loose. Because he, he made a great play and Kevin ran up and gave him a running chest bump. And Rodney said, man, at first I had no idea what he was doing. Make it Phoenix lead. Here's Luke Longley. Swings it over to Robinson and Cliff. Robinson for three. There. Here's Robinson. Marion fires a long one and puts a 9-0 Sacramento run. And Robinson puts an end to that. It's a comedy unto itself just to watch Kirill's reactions as Williams plays the game his way. For Sacramento, that's been one of their strengths all season. Their so-called bench mob. They work it around the perimeter for the wide open three and the lob inside is intercepted by Corbin. And then he gives it right back to Robinson with a feeble pass. Johnson into the corner, Rogers, a three. You know that's a great look and then Cliff Robinson now gets to the free throw line and 
people don't realize what a terrific defender is during the course of the game. Easy. Cliff Robinson's jumper is there. Done today too. Corey Blunt has played well and he's rewarded and he's against Sean Marion. That's such a such a key matchup for Page to get a basket early. Now Robinson. And we're tied at two. And it's just flat out rolled off his Oh yeah, he, he makes that nine out of ten with a blindfold on. And a foul called and the basket counts. Chris Weber. Foul. And one thing you're seeing already, Grant, going in this level. There's no question about that. Scott Skiles trying to get Weber in trouble. Oh, a travel on Weber. Sacramento turns it over. He's knocking it down the well right in the eyes of Jason Kidd. Sacramento by three. Robinson. Clicks tough shots. Yeah, he made three of those on Sunday. Weber, his first shot is too strong. Robinson now stumbles. Yeah, they are clearly, as you said, working on Weber, and Cliff Robinson has nine. Yeah, really about 80% of the time, one-on-one -on -one against Stoakovich, that time at work. Weber from 15 can't connect. Suns with the two-point lead. And Robinson, 2-14. And uh, Cliff Robinson may uh, get a good call there. Time to shoot. Now the Kings Weber has to fire. Rebound, make a basket. Just any any way to score right now because his, his defensive effort's very good, but you've got to put the points on the board at some point. 32 now knows he can get to the basket as well. Going against Scott Pollard. Scott uh, coming from Kings going to go very small, which uh, for the manager's special combo meals. Reds left in the half. Weber looking for his first field goal. 0 of 10 is Weber. Wow. 0 of 11. Penetration gets some easy shots for his teammates. Robinson off balance with him on her hands now. Yep. Both teams struggling a little bit shooting the basketball, but defense is at outstanding on both ends. Chris Weber, 2 of 15. Sets up the jump hook, 2 of 16. Seven point Phoenix lead. Robinson with the side pop. Weber, just six of 24, but he's come up big here in the fourth. Weber. Good defense by Robinson on Chris Weber. Well, Chris really looking for a foul on that play. Robinson. One point game. Cliff Robinson, 22, 70. Well, right now, King just need to take care of the basketball. Get a good open look every time or go to the line. Eight on the shot clock. Kings with a turnover. Delt, three on three. Delt will go to the free throw. He used it. Suns, five of nine from the line. Now the Moche de la Equipe, poor Steve Francis. Avec uh, Cliff Robinson. That could be a little bit. It's always the same problem for the Clippers. It's quand même une des équipes les plus uh, décevantes depuis des années et des années en NBA. Et le panier va être. Il a marqué 19 points dans la victoire face aux Clippers. Une bonne passe pour la contre-attaque de Randy Livingstone. Aucun problème pour Robinson pour se débarrasser de Bryce Drew. Livingstone, à Todd Day. Oh, attention, on... quand il s'assoit dedans. Et permettre aussi à Phoenix d'aller plus loin euh, que le premier tour des playoffs. S'il avait réussi le plein je pense que c'était dans le top 10. Voilà, la terre panier complètement ouverte. Il a bien raison. Et il sait qu'il a au moins 6 ou 8 semaines devant lui où il va être titularisé. C'est une autre. Ouais, C'est un véritable rouleau compresseur, San Antonio. 
pas l'équipe qui fait le plus rêver de la NBA, mais en tout cas, c'est une équipe qui gagne. Moi, j'ai bien cette équipe. Clifford, moi. Il avait fait trois mauvais choix sur les tirs précédents. Oh là 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 le héros des Rockets dans ce troisième carton. Wow 7-20 de carton. Rebond de Dolphany Hadaway. Alors, oui Kitts aurait déjà 20 passes décisives. Robinson. Deux points toujours d'avance pour les Suns. Alors que va nous faire Jason Kidd On voit Cliff Robinson, 23 points déjà dans cette rencontre. Meilleur match de sa saison pour l'ancien Blazer. Et sur Elias, Juan comes up with the ball, throws it out on the break, but Ellie tips the ball over to Kidd, and the Suns have the steal. Cross court pass over to Cliff Robinson, open from 14. Pass around to Ellie. Ellie over on the angle left side. Ellie waiting, gets down to Robinson. A fake, a drive, a stuff, good. Good defense warning against the Suns. We mentioned Robinson, and you mentioned Eddie that this time when he got the ball inside, he took it right in. Well, for not the relying on the jump shot. Right. Into Steve Francis. Francis on the left side. Eight seconds to shoot it. Out to Taylor. 15 footer won't go. Rebound tipped out to Ellie. Throws it length to the court. Gathered in by Robinson. Gets it to Sean Marion for a for the Suns. Brings it on the dribble down the left side. Hangs on. Gives to the trailing Cliff Robinson. 20 footer. Got it. The Phoenix Suns. He hasn't gotten up much playing time of late, but the big seven foot two centers in there now. Here's Cliff Robinson for Fine. to get some easy opportunities. 47 seconds remaining here in the first half of Houston. And the next for the high post gives the ball to Delk left of the lane. Now to Cliff Robinson. Robinson low to Marion. Little push shot. Good. Eight to nothing. Scoring run. Rogers off the glass will miss. On the rebound. It's tipped around and in. Cliff Robinson at the free throw line for the Suns. First. Here's the second free throw. It's good. Fakes left. Still moves. Goes to his right. Mobley in underneath. Shot knocked away. Ball in. Back up in his hands. Shandon. Blocked by Robinson. Ball is loose. Mario Arley now. He loves the fast break. Get in front of him. Shares the ball to the miss because Phoenix with uh, Jason Kidd at the helm is going to come at you fast. Robinson walks it in for two. Looking for the pass. Sean Marion at the top. Slips and falls, but the ball goes right into the hands of Robinson, and he puts Robinson and does. Now turns and faces. Ten on the shot clock. Nice drive by Kenny, but by the way, giving it up to Robinson. Spin move. Now Clifford from the outside. Hammers are everywhere. Tony Delk over the shoulder. Nice pass. 18-footer. Bingo. Had the most trouble with Steve of any player in the league last year. Steve averaged 28 a game. Robinson put it up and in. Shannon looks like he was victimized, like he wasn't even involved. Exploded last year against Denver in this arena with fifth. Robinson now wants to take it to Bullard across the middle, and Matt got a piece of it, knocked it away. Robinson gets it back and puts well, it up and in. Elijah on inside position. Uh, oh, oh. Did he pass it? I'm not sure what happened there. Robinson takes it inside, lays it up for two. Good save by Clifford Robinson. Eight on the shot clock. Jason Kidd, wide open jumper. And uh, the back door was sealed. Yes, it was. Why'd you want to run that basket? Well, Akeem, the all-time leading shot blocker. But... Francis off the dribble, lost the ball. Against the Rockets tonight, huh, Bill? Well, Gugliotta's due back in about... to do it 18 seconds left 11 trip Rudy wanted Jim Clark e Derek Richard sono i tre arbitri per questa partita in cui i Pistons devono dimostrare di esserci fin dall'inizio 16 con 6 su 6 vediamo se la panchina è in grado di lanciare questa partita panchina che ultimamente due si sentono spesso anche per cellulare nel cuore della notte per parlare della squadra qui buona giornata Jim Miller cioè la palla ti può arrivare in tanti momenti ancora alto basso per Robinson la regia qua ci aiuta a capire perché Miller è uno dei giocatori più scorretti Reggie Miller come ben sa Michael Jordan che è stato forza il raddoppio che comunque voleva ancora una volta levargli la palla dalle mani palla dentro e uno contro uno fallo in attacco 
Io ho appoggiato il corpo e vedete che Robinson scuola di te. Rimbalzo di Jonathan Bender che ogni tanto fa cose clamorose. Corre bene Crozier! Ma... In campo contemporaneamente con Bender, diciamo, quello che proverebbe probabilmente ad avere il secondo quarto, hanno già concesso 21 punti e oggettivamente non sembrano mai trovare una chiave difensiva alla partita. Robinson buttando esattamente gli ultimi della pista, lì però si è fermato e non si è ancora mosso. Non si è ancora mosso, ora difensivamente è impegnato contro Steckhouse, non lo attacca e questa 5 a 13 il parziale di questo quarto, onestamente poco spiegabile perché Detroit è una squadra di 7 dai 10.000, questa sera potrebbe scollinare. Gran stoppata dei giochi da leghe minori ma europee però non americane a vedere il film tratto da Season on the Brink un bellissimo libro scritto da John Fiennes e non amato molto peraltro dal destinatario della biografia speriamo stia in campo qua in uno contro uno ormai Ison ha un lato per lui e Baby Nard va a mandare secondi anzi meno dal termine del quarto palla dentro per Robinson quattro uomini fermi e uno che inventa non è il modo migliore per uscire dai problemi portare a casa il fallo e va in lunetta come dicevamo in precedenza è il, è il terzo per assist chiaramente un giocatore dalle grandi attitudini perimetrali assolutamente bisogno di qualcosa in questo possesso d'attacco vanno ovviamente le stecca usa che penetra e scarica Robinson dalla mia via un pallone inguardabile in questa situazione ancora isolato stecca da fermo taglia per ricevere Robinson a ah, quota 89 ma possesso per gli avversari palla dentro di stecca per Cliff Robinson Robinson va dal palleggio cerca il centro dell'area lo trova prende il tiro che va a versare non puoi fare nella stessa azione e mi sembra una regola perfettamente nello spirito del gioco ci sono varie opzioni, ce n'era una per Harrington e una per Foster, direi che Forces comunque ha spinto. Effettivamente è arrivata la spinta, poi gran giocata comunque di Cliff Robinson, il fallo di Foster.